yes in this video we are going to see how to do insertion in a singly linked list here an insertion can be done in three places one is in a given a linked list you may want to add a node newly created node at the beginning of the linked list or at the end of the linked list or at the middle so you have to write the functions accordingly so now what we are going to see first we are going to see the theory behind this so what is insertion at the beginning of the linked list imagine these are all the four nodes now available and they are all connected in a connected as a linked list how it is connected this is the node where this is the information field and then you have the uh, address address of the next node so this is let us imagine these are all the memory address where these nodes are created now in this next location we have placed the memory location of the next node likewise one or three is placed here and one or four so using this only we are, uh, we are going the pointer is moved and to that location and the data is read and then again the pointer is uh, the uh, moved to the next location by using this next field and so on till we reach the end of the linked list which is indicated by the null pointer now imagine we have we are going to add one uh, node before this this is the starting node so head is pointing to the starting node now we want to add this new node let us say we create a new node and we add the data b uh, when you create a new node by naturally the pointer field will be already we i told you this will be the pointer field uh, so this will be a null pointer now let us imagine this is created at the memory location 200 now how you will make this to be the first node now this has to be made as the first node so what we have to do is we have to uh, manipulate the pointers so in order to do that say this is a code which is responsible for creating so node star temp equal to new node where temp is nothing but this b this is the new node and for that we have given the name temp a node is the structure which we have already seen in the previous videos so we are creating a node and a temp which is of type node and by using the new operator we are able to create a structure of this type so now next point we are assigning the data to be written so first we are writing that value in the data field that we can do by using this pointer pointer field and a temp data so that we have assigned this already it will be a null pointer now what we have to do is we have to manipulate this value so when you bring this it should point to the next value so what how where we can find that value is in the head because head is pointing to the first node so we if we write the location of the head this which is nothing but this is the head then we have to write the head that we are doing it here temp next equal to head so after writing this suppose head is head is nothing but 101 so that value is written here see like this so you have to write the pointer head is nothing but this pointer memory location so that is the memory location of the first node which is nothing but 101 so that we are writing in the next field of the time and then now we have to make this to be the first node now when you write 101 it automatically now it started pointing to the node this memory location now this has to be made as a head because now this is the starting location of the given linked list so that can be done by this statement head equal to temp so here if you see that see here head equal to temp that we have done this so by doing so we were now after doing these steps now this data this node is inserted as the first node so which is what we have seen in this to do the first a temporary node has to be created anyway because we are going to insert so anyway the first node uh, new object has to be created which is which is of node type and then in that information field we add the data and then in the next field we write the head like this and then in the head now we made this to be the starting node that can be done by making head equal to temp which is nothing but this memory location will be written as head equal to 200 now it point the head points to the first location insertion at the last of the linked list 
So let us imagine this is the given uh, point, given link list, and we are going to add this node as the last node. So what are the things we have to do? We have to manipulate the pointer. We have to put this to her because after this, this has to be accessed. That is what our A. That is we are inserting it as a link last row. So what you have to do? The last, uh, the the newly created node. First you have to create a new node, add this data, and then if default it will be with an null pointer. Now this 200, this memory location has to be written here. Once you return this memory location after J, uh, it goes to the next location will be pointing to this. Now it is made. Now, so that is what here we are doing. So this 200 is written here. By already it is the last value. Uh, while creation itself, it is a null pointer. So that's all. So now what happens? Now C is pointing to E, E is pointing to G, J, and then J is now pointing to B. So first what we have to do is first create a new node, which is nothing but B. This is the new node. Now we have given a temporary variable for that, that is temp, which is of type node. Then in that, so while when you create a temp node, now it will be like this. And in that you write the data, temp data B. Then you have to reach the end of the list. Initially, the list will be here. Starting node will be here. Now you have to reach, go to the end. How can you find the end? By now, by using a for loop, where last is also of type node type. It is also a temporary pointer. And now it is made to head. This is a temporary. Already I told you, you should not use the head to go through. If you use head to traverse, you will be losing this uh, uh, the nodes. So what you do is you are assigning it to a temporary node called last. Okay. Then using that you move to the next next. Well, last is last next. First, when you assign this, now the last is pointing this. Then what you do is last equal to see the last, uh, this statement, last is last next. Now it is pointing to this, which is nothing but this. Then till it is not equal to null. This, this type already we have seen using the while loop. The same we have written in a for loop where it is initialization and this is checking whether it has reached the condition and this is the increment. So here we still this, when it becomes null, we, it is, it says that we have reached the last node. Now the pointer will be there. That is the last pointer will be pointing here. Now, uh, what we do is this last next we write the temporary value that is temp. So that's all. Now this is the, the, the uh, node is added as the last node. Now the next one is insertion in the middle of the link list. Previously what we have seen is if you want to add it as a first node, if you want it as a last node. Now we are going to see if you are going to add in between. So how to do that? You have to do the manipulation of the pointer. See, after, suppose I want to insert it here between E and G. Now, what I have to do? This previous node. Because now uh, this 103 is this node. So, I have to make, after seeing this, this has to be visited. So, this will be returned in this. That is the first step. So, then what we have to do? This 200. This is the memory location. That has to be written here. 103 has to be written here so that it will point to that and this memory location temporary this is a temporary node so this temporary node uh, created memory locations has to be written here that is what here we are doing see here 200 is written here and already 103 that will be written there so first thing what you have to do you have to write first uh, new you have to do any manipulation only in the new node that one then only you have to carry over in the old node or else you will be losing the value you if you write first 200 then you will be losing that 103 you will be having no values to return here so what you have to do is you have to, first you have to write the old node next value here and then this location here so that can be done like this first you create the new node by using this statement temp which is of that node and then you create the new node now temp next this is the temp now temp next you write what is that current this is the current node while going through it this will be you have to stop 
you have to traverse and you have to stop where you want to insert so now let us imagine this is our current node so current in next this is the current node which is nothing but cur and in that the next field is nothing but this is the next field in that you write uh, sorry in temp next you write a current node next this is the temp node in that current node x is nothing but 103 then current node next uh, this temp will be returned so after doing though now this will be inserted in the middle